Hello students, under the topic integration by parts, the second problem is integral x sin 2x dx. Now this is a product of two functions, where one of the function is algebraic and the other function is trigonometric. Now we have to make the choice of the function u, uh, which is made by using i l a t e. I have, I have explained about this very clearly in my pre previous video. So if you go and see that lecture, you will understand it better. I stands for inverse, L stands for logarithmic, A for algebraic, T for trigonometric and E for exponential. We have to choose the function u in this order only. Now if you see here, the functions are algebraic and trigonometric. So which comes first? Algebraic comes first and after that comes trigonometric. So we have to make the choice of u with the, that which comes first. So the first one is algebraic. So u will be equal to what is algebraic here? This x. So x and dv will be equal to the remaining that is this full uh, remaining after making the choice of u the one that remains that we have to take as dv so here it will be sine 2x dx so we know that the formula is integral u dv is equal to uv minus integral v du so now after making the choice of u and dv we have to find v in this formula so v is found by integrating dv on both the sides so when we integrate this on both the sides the integral of dv is v which is equal to what is integral of sine 2x we know by the integration formula that the integration for sine is negative cos so minus sine 2x so it will be minus cos 2x divided by the constant so what is the constant here 2 so divided by 2 so this is our v and after that we need du in the formula for which we have to differentiate this u so differentiation of u with respect to x will be du by dx which is equal to the differentiation of x is 1 so from this we get du to be equal to dx so we have obtained your du to be equal to dx, u is x and v is equal to negative cos 2x divided by 2. Now we have to substitute all these three in this formula. So that will be equal to uv. So what is u? u is x. So x multiplied with v. v is what? Minus cos 2x. So that minus I will write here in the front. So minus cos 2x divided by 2 minus integral v. So v is minus cos 2x by 2. So that minus and this minus gets multiplied and so it becomes positive. So minus into minus is plus integral v. So cos 2x divided by 2 and du is dx. So that we have to write here. So this will be equal to minus x cos 2x divided by 2 plus this uh, 2 in the denominator is a constant which can be taken out. So 1 by 2 and the integral of cos 2x dx. So the, we know that from the integration formula that the integration of cos x is sin x. And now here we have cos 2x and so the integration for cos 2x will be sin 2x divided by again we have the constant 2 here right. So divided by 2 plus c. So when we write this in a by simplifying this x cos 2x divided by 2 plus uh, the numerator is 1 multiplied with sin 2x. So sin 2x divided by 2 multiplied with 2 which is there in the denominator. So it becomes 4 plus c. So this is the answer that is integral x sin 2x that is the given question dx is equal to minus x cos 2x by 2 plus sin 2x by 4 plus c. So this is the answer. 
we shall now solve another problem of the similar kind so problem 3 is integral cos 2x dx so now we have to make the choice of u first i told you already we have to check out for this i l a t e so if you see the two functions here are algebraic that is this x is algebraic and cos 2x is trigonometric so first we have to make the choice of u in this order so algebraic comes first and after that comes trigonometric so we have to choose u to be equal to x so u is chosen as x and the one which is remaining has to be completely chosen as dv which is equal to cos 2x dx now we know that the formula is integral u dv is equals to uv minus integral v du so in this formula we have u here next we have to find v v is obtained by integrating dv so integral of dv will be equal to the integral of the right hand side and so the integration of dv is v which is equal to the integration of cos 2x is sin 2x divided by the constant here that is 2 so divided by 2 so after that in the formula we have du so we have to differentiate this u so we get du by dx is equal to the differentiation of x is 1 so from which we get du to be equal to dx taking this to the right so we have obtained du to be equal to dx v to be equal to sin 2x by 2 now we have to substitute these three in the given formula so therefore we get this is the question that is integral x cos 2x dx is equal to u multiplied with v so what is u u is x x multiplied with v is sin 2x divided by 2 minus so this minus integral v du so what is v v is sin 2x divided by 2 and du is dx so dx now further this will be equal to x sin 2x divided by 2 minus now this 2 which is in the denominator is a constant so when it comes out it becomes 1 by 2 now what is integral sin 2x dx the integration of sin uh, we know that it is minus cos so here we have integral of sin 2x the which will be minus cos 2x so when that minus comes out it gets multiplied with this minus and it becomes plus so plus here and then integration of sin is minus cos so it has become plus here and it will be cos 2x divided by the constant here so this constant we have to divide by so divided by 2 plus c and so finally on simplifying this we obtain the answer to be equal to x sin 2x divided by 2 plus cos 2x divided by 4 plus c so this is the answer hope you have understood this problem um there is another problem of the same kind so here we have problem 4 which is integral x sin 3x dx where now we have to make the choice of u it is algebraic and trigonometric so again we have to use i l a t e so as the algebraic appears first um after that only we have trigonometric we will make the choice of u to be equal to x that is the algebraic so this will become u and the remaining full part will become dv so dv will be equal to sin 3x dx after that we have to integrate uh, dv in order to get v from it so integral of sin 3x is negative cos 3x divided by the constant 3 and after that uh, we have to find du by dx which is equal to 1 because the differentiation of x is 1 so therefore du will be equal to dx and we have to apply this in this formula and so when we substitute we obtain the answer to be equal to this this is in the same method as we solved the previ previous two problems so all the three problems are of similar method so you have to just remember the formulas of the integration of the trigonometric functions sin x and cos x okay so hope you have understood this concept thank you